Gaza. Well, Lisa, what is supposed to be a time of light for the Jewish community is overshadowed this year by tensions in Gaza. The death toll continues to rise and war rages on. That's why a local rabbi says it's more important than ever to come together this season. We'll light, line up all the menorahs and, and people will come up to light, light them together. And it really is filled with light. It's a, it's a very joyous time. A celebration of light shining through the dark times for the Jewish community. Rabbi Daniel Swartz is preparing for Friday's big Hanukkah celebration at Temple Hased in Scranton, filled with tradition and lots of food. Myself, our president, a couple other people will make a whole variety of different kinds of latkes, these fried potato pancake. I'm doing pizza latkes, uh, you know, which I've never done before, but it seems like an interesting idea. And while the menorah is lit, it burns a little dimmer this year as tensions continue to flare in Gaza. The death toll now sits at 17,000 as the Israeli Hamas war and humanitarian crisis continues to unfold. This is precisely why we need to celebrate. It's it's not kind of a silly joy. It's not like uh, everything's okay in the world, but it's remembering that um, this kind of struggle is an ancient one. Swartz says it's a trying time for many, but resiliency continues to shine through as it has for generations in the Jewish community. And so this is a, a chance for us to remind ourselves of, of why we're here, which is to, to help each other and to make our world a place that's more filled with light. A message we can all hear right now. That Hanukkah celebration kicks off tomorrow evening with dinner at 6 and the services at 7. Rabbi Swartz says all are welcome to attend in Scranton. And Lisa, I don't know about you, but I would not want to miss out on Rabbi Swartz's pizza latkes. Sounds delicious. Melissa, thank you so much. For